The following video presents to you an example of torsion in a solid shaft undergoing a uniform applied moment. Okay, so we have a circular cylinder, sorry, a, cyl a cylinder with a, with a diameter of 50 millimeters and a height of 500 millimeters, and it's undergoing a moment of 20 kilonewton meters, an anti-clockwise moment that is, so a positive moment. We're given that we have a shear modulus of 50,000 megapascals, okay? So we're asked to determine the torsion constant. We need to draw the twisting moment diagram. We need to calculate the rate of twist and the maximum shear stress. And we, t we need to find out the rotation of the top of the cylinder with respect to the base. So re just recalling quickly, our cylinder has a diameter of 50 millimeters, a height of 500 millimeters, and is undergoing a uniform moment of 20 kilonewton meters. So how do we begin? we need to start off by finding the torsion constant now recalling torsion constant equals pi times the diameter to the power of 4 divided by 32 looking back at this cylinder our diameter is 50 mils therefore our torsion constant is pi times 50 to the power of 4 divided by 32 and this gives us a torsion constant of 0.614 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the power of 4 Next, we were asked to, to draw the twisting moment diagram. Nice and easy. Since we only have one moment, as shown here, we only have a moment of 20 kilonewton meters. Our twisting moment diagram is simply 20 kilonewton meters, and we just indicate the positive. Because it's an anti clockwise moment. So we just indicated the positive because it's an anti clockwise.